Hi, Paraton Weather Meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Wednesday, May 12th. Kind of a quiet, chilly morning here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Still a chilly weather pattern, at least for a little while longer throughout much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation, and it's been well below normal out in the uh, Rocky Mountain states. And let's start off by talking about the snowfall yesterday in and around Denver, for example. They had a few inches of snow in and around the Denver, Colorado region and up in the higher elevation just to the west, northwest, several inches of snow. Now, it's not unprecedented for that part of the country to see some snow in May, but it is pretty late in the season to get accumulating snow and to see temperatures fall at uh, or below the freezing mark as it did yesterday morning in Denver. This is a snowfall accumulation map uh, for the 24-hour period ending last night and you can see snow uh, uh, fell all the way from the Colorado Rockies all the way up into Wyoming again two three four inches in and around the Denver region itself and higher amounts to the north and to the west and the uh, quite amazing part about this story with respect to the snow fallout in that part of the nation you may recall there was uh, accumulating snow in and around Denver as uh, all the way back to the early part of September, around September 8th, they actually had accumulating snow. So when you count uh, the number of months, it's pretty amazing for Denver. They've actually had accumulating snow for nine straight months now. If you go September all the way to May, it's September of 2020 all the way to May. So that's quite an extended snow season, even for the Colorado Rockies. Again, this is a 24-hour total uh, map uh, ending last night. Well, now let's take a look at the operational run of the GFS from 6E last night. We'll focus first on the 850 millibar temperature anomalies to see if indeed there is uh, a warm-up coming for um, much of the eastern two-thirds of the nation. Indeed, there is. Denver, for example, could climb all the way into the 70s by tomorrow afternoon and they'll likely stay in the 70s on Friday, Saturday and Sunday as well. That too is not all that unusual to see it, it change quickly in and around that part of the nation. The, the, the uh, eastern side of the uh, Rocky Mountains out in Colorado, for example, could go from highs in the 40s to highs in the 70s in just a matter of a day or two. This is where we start off the day here on Wednesday in terms of the 850 millibar temperature anomalies below normal represented on this particular map uh, from tropicaltidbits.com in blue and purple. And you can see some of the purple can get as low as like 20 degrees below normal for this time of the year. Let's move forward here. Look at this. This is actually 20 plus degrees below normal midday today, early afternoon today, all the way down in the western part of Texas. Interestingly, this is the same part of the nation, same part of Texas that had that historic cold shot during the month of February, which at that time was also 20 plus degrees below normal. But here we are throughout the day today, throughout the eastern two-thirds of the nation, below normal temperatures. There is some warming coming though. Let's move forward here all the way now to the uh, end of the work week here is Friday, still much of the eastern half of the nation at this time below normal, but notice a warm-up beginning here, at least at the 850 millibar level, out in the western states. And again, Denver will jump noticeably in temperatures between yesterday's snowfall and tomorrow afternoon, quite a dramatic change. There'll be 70 to 75 degrees for afternoon highs on Thursday in that in the 70s and Friday and Saturday as well. Uh, won't jump like that in the mid-Atlantic region. That we may get up to 70 degrees by tomorrow afternoon, certainly by Friday afternoon in D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, it looks like 70 degrees, and in the low to mid-70s for highs this upcoming weekend. Here we are uh, come uh, Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening, still a little bit below normal throughout much of the eastern half of the nation, but starts to warm up uh, next week it looks like. Here we are now, the Tuesday time frame, still a little bit below normal right in the heartland of the mid-Atlantic region, but there are some signs here of warmer conditions, especially up across Canada now. Here we are a week from today, next Wednesday afternoon, a lot of warming occurring across 
the southern part of Canada and certainly a little better picture in the eastern two-thirds of the, the nation uh, a week from now compared to what we're experiencing right now. Well now let's take a look at the surface map and one player here jumps out at you. This strong high pressure system really is a main player for the weather over the next few days stretching all the way from the central plains to the northeast coastline here a strong high pressure over the uh, upper part of the Midwest as we begin the day here on Wednesday. And some rainfall across the deep south here. Now let's move forward here again. That high stays in control for much of the eastern half of the nation. And notice the lines here of equal pressure on the west side of this high. Winds flow uh, clockwise around highs and that is a southerly fetch of air here. Southerly winds from Texas all the way up to the northern plains by the time we get to the latter part of Thursday. And that will promote that warm up across the uh, Rocky Mountains and into the Central Plains on the back side of that high. So some warming is indeed a coming to at least that part of the nation. And here we go by the time we get into the early part of the weekend. High pressures still in control throughout much of the Ohio Valley, Mid-Atlantic region, Northeast U.S. In fact, it looks like quite a promising weekend setting up for places like D.C., Philadelphia, New York City, Boston, with temperatures probably up into the 70s on both Saturday and Sunday, thanks to this large high pressure system that stays in control for the most part through the upcoming weekend. By the time we get into the early part of next week, and we'll look right here at the Monday morning forecast map, there is some moisture streaming to the north and east that certainly can bring some showers back to the Ohio Valley, the Mid-Atlantic region, by the time we get to the early part of next week. So a big warm-up coming to Denver. They had some late season snow yesterday that accumulated up to a few inches or so even in the Denver uh, metro region and that marks the ninth straight month of snow out in that part of the nation all the way from September of 2020 to May of 2021. A nice weekend shaping up for the northeastern quadrant of the nation. That's it for now. For ParatonWeather.com, I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.